We're turning this typical telly to a T-bender. This is the Sertano T-bender. It is a replacement Telecaster bridge that gives you a G-bender and a B-bender. Completely drop in, no modifications to your guitar. I mean, besides this being like a really slick looking bridge and just easy to use right off the bat, like I'm able to do it, it's also really easy to install. Let's check out this install footage. Pretty neat because I've never played a B-Bender or a G-Bender. And I think it's kind of intimidating for a person to get into that, and they're hard to find. They're expensive, too. Yeah. Like, it's like the real deal where they, they route out the body yeah, and all that. Cool thing. thousands of dollars. So it's ridiculous. The, the fact that, you know, you just literally pull off the old one, you take the new four screws, put it back in there, and then you got like a GB thing. And you could kind of experiment, play around with it. So I'm actually, to be honest, I'm kind of excited to try this. This is, this is a really cool concept. I'm, I'm new to it, too. Every time I've encountered a B-Bender or a G-Bender in the wild, mm -hmm. it's in a, in a shop, and it's like... It doesn't have a strap on it, so I'm sitting there playing and like trying to yeah yeah trying you're to work exactly thing. trying to go like this. And it's like you never quite get like the the idea of how it works. Like I don't know musically what to do with it yet because I'm so new to it. Mm -hmm. But just sitting here the past like ten minutes, getting used to it, like I'm having fun. With this thing, you could actually get two different uh, intervals. So you could either push it up like a whole step or half step, and you do it by turning these little knobby noobs right over here. And so, like you know, the, you were the, doing that with your fingers. You that's, were, yeah, I could do it with my fingers because there's no tension here. Because it looks like something you'd need to bust out, like the, the no, a tool kit. So there, there was no tension, tight. so I just kind of finger tighten it, and then it just kind of shows you how much distance it is before it gets the note. So you could have it high and just have it be like a half step, or have uh -huh. it low be a whole step. You know, mm -hmm. just tune it. You see this? I don't even need yeah. fancy graphics. You I can just do graphics. this in my hand, right? <laughs> but I, I just think it's a really neat concept because, again, like for people that want to try it and you know have trouble, I don't. I don't really see B benders. Yeah, it looks like a really solid piece of hardware too. The design of the the the, the bridge plate itself, and you got brass saddles on there and stuff. It's yep. it's it's classy. Oh, we're like done. That's, we're that's done. It. Let's go. <laughs> Am I in Nashville right now? I know, right? <laughs> really, like, impressed, like, just how easy the action is. Like, I was expecting it to be like, oh, I'm going to have to really, like, push into yeah, these. Yeah. But they, they're they really, like... Like, they yeah. almost have, like, a kill switch sort of action to them. Like, it's real fast. Can you use it like a whammy bar? <laughs> well, it's, it's two whammy bars. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Do little flutters on it. <laughs> there's like there's like a diehard B bender guy out there watching us going like oh I don't like this are, <laughs> I don't like this guy this guy's doing? not doing it right <laughs> oh well, that's pretty that is pretty and you can do them both at the same time or you could just do one yeah I watched some of the videos I see like a lot of people are doing this one the B seems to be the popular one. But that sounds really That's nice, really too. Nice like that there, little yeah. bit of sugar that you <laughs> put on something. Like, oh, I'm going to land on a major chord here, and I'm going to spice it up. That's the sort of thing you feel in a song instead of here. Oh, That's really nice. <laughs> like, That's really nice. Goosebumps. <laughs> Okay, I got to try this. <laughs> yeah. I got to try this. Oh. Oh, oh, yeah. You have to go half there, right? So yeah. it'd be like. <laughs> cheesy, cheesy. 
<laughs> we're being so like <laughs> so gratuitous true. and clumsy with this and all the, all the like, bee bender people out there watching this are like, oh, they barely know what to do with it. And it's still exciting. Like every telecaster should just have it. I know, you know, so I'm like, I'm playing it. I'm kind of getting inspired. I'm kind of going to yeah. the... Because you want to go... So I was like... Yeah. And just a placement of it is really convenient. <laughs> like, I'm having fun. <laughs> Have you tried doing them both at the same time yet? Oh, no, not. You got to do both at the same time. I, I could see myself getting lost for like a whole weekend. Right. Like, you know, like I'm kind of getting mad. Like I want to get really good at this. Like looking at it, like it's just such a simple thing to swap in and out yeah. too. It's, well, it's seven screws. So like what, yeah. three for the pickup and then four, which are the, the screws that are already in your guitar as it is. A wonderful way to lose an entire weekend. <laughs> <laughs> or game like the next chapter of your, of in your, your life, in your musical journey. Are you going to get one? So here's here's the thing. Like, okay. I have a Telecaster, yeah. and I listed it on Craigslist like a week or two ago. As the moment this video is done, I need to <laughs> need to rush to my phone to take the listing down because I'm I'm totally gonna buy one of these now. Yeah, I, I, I was actually kind of thinking the same thing. I have also a Tele that's not getting enough love right. that has the four screws. I'm like, ah, you know, that's uh, I think I could probably give it a shot. I just want to I want to get good at this because I could just see the the potential. Yeah, and it's like super non obtrusive. So I think I think I might do it. Yeah, too, you actually. can push it out of the out of the way if you don't feel like using it, yeah. and just throw it in there on the fly. Because this is this is a two hundred and ninety nine dollar guitar. These, yeah, these Urs are amazing deals at two hundred ninety nine bucks. But then throwing on a bridge system that's also two hundred ninety nine dollars. So we have a five hundred and ninety eight dollar. <laughs> G B bender guitar. You're not taking any wood out. There's no permanent modifications. You could sw like if you if you wanted to test it out. You're starting out with a, a six hundred dollar guitar basically, and you're like, I uh, you know I like this. I'm gonna throw it on my American made custom shop boutiquey sort of thing now, and you can just swap it around to whatever guitars you want. Sold. Let's yeah. do it. What do you guys think of this? Would you put it on your guitar? Let us know in a little comment section right down below. Yeah, comment. Come on. Yeah, do all this. Do all the YouTube stuff. You know what you're supposed to do. Like and subscribe and click the bell and comment and share it with your mom and your dad so they can see what you're watching. You know. That being said, we'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye. <laughs>